Hello everyone. Welcome to the course on Power Generation, Transmission and Protection. We are discussing Module 6. In Module 6, today we are entering the protection of transmission line, that is differential protection and carrier current protection. Transmission line of protection of IT Tana, we will discuss here about that. Okay. If fault occurring in case of line, in any kind of greater length than exposure to atmospheric conditions. So this is this has called for many protective schemes which have no application to the comparatively simple cases of alternators and transformers. Actually, what are the requirements of line protection? In the event of short circuit, the circuit breakers closest to the fault should open. So all the circuit breakers remaining in a closed position. So, in case of nearest breaker to the fault fails to open, backup protection should be provided by the adjacent circuit breaker. And it is backup protection on our individual. So, the relay operating third case, the relay operating time should be just as short as possible in order to preserve the system stability without unnecessary tripping circuits. Tripping off circuits. Actually, the protection of lines and a problem created in under in different form of protection station apparatus such as generators, transformers and bus bars. So differential protection is an ideal method for lines. So it is much more expensive to use, but two ends of if we say another number already but it's differential protection and down another. Two ends of the line may be several kilometers apart and to compare two currents it is a cost uh, a costly pilot wire circuit required. So this expense may be justified, but in general, less costly methods are used. In differential pilot wire protection, it is the base from the principle, normal operating condition, current entering one end of the line that is equal to leaving other end. So as soon as the fault occurs between two ends, E condition no longer on the villa. So the difference of incoming and out, outgoing current, they are arranged to flow through the relay and operate the circuit breaker to isolate the faulty line. Okay. Differential protection, a lingle pilot by protection, the most price voltage balance system is in the other figure on you can see in the screen. Okay, it is the single line diagram of most price voltage balance system of protection of three phase line. So it is identical to current either identical current transformers that are placed in each phase at both ends of the line. So this pair of CT in each line that is connected in series with the relay. Engineana normal operating condition the secondary voltage equal IQ. Also in opposition, so balance in each other. Normal case the matra. Healthy conditions, current entering the line at one end that is equal to that of leaving at the other end. So therefore, equal and opposite voltage are induced in the secondaries of CT at the both ends. And the result is that no current flows through the relay. Suppose that the fault occurs in the area. Okay, F1 is the point that the fault occurs in the area. This will cause a greater current to flow through CT1 than CT2. Consequently, their secondary voltages become unequal and circulating current flows through the pilot wires and the relays. So the circuit breakers at the both ends of the line will be tripped out and the faulty line will be isolated. Okay. In this figure, you can see the connections of MERS price voltage balance scheme for all the three phase of the line. Moon the line the same protection. Next, we are moving to carrier current protection. So, it is mainly used for the protection of long transmission line. Okay, this scheme is the phase angle of the current at two phases of that line are compared instead of actual current. Okay, in the case of the current, we compare the phase angle and compare it. And then the phase angle of the line decides whether the fault is internal and external or external. Okay. If the main elements of the carrier channel are a transmitter and a receiver and a coupling equipment and followed by a line trap. So the current receive current carrier current receiver 
അതെന്ത് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് ദാറ്റ് ആക്ച്വലി റിസീവ്സ് ദ കരിയർ കറൻറ്റ് ഫ്രം ദ ട്രാൻസ്മിറ്റർ അറ്റ് ദ ഡിസ്റ്റൻറ്റ് എൻഡ് ഓഫ് ദ ലൈൻ സോ ദിസ് റിസീവർ വിൽ കൺവേർട്ട് ദ റിസീവ്ഡ് കരിയർ കറൻറ്റ് ഇൻ ടു എ ഡി സി വോൾട്ടേജ് ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് ക്യാൻ ബി യൂസ്ഡ് ഇൻ ദ റിലേ ഓർ അതർ സർക്യൂട്ട് ദാറ്റ് പെർഫോംസ് എനി ഡിസൈഡ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ സോ ദ വോൾട്ടേജ് ഈസ് സീറോ വെൻ ദ കരിയർ കറൻറ്റ് ഈസ് നോട്ട് ബീങ് റിസീവ് ഓക്കെ if a line trap inserted between bus bar and connection of coupling capacitor to the line okay it is a parallel lc network turn to resonance at the high frequency it traps restrict the carrier current to the unprotected section so as to avoid interference from the with or the other adjacent carrier current channel അത് ഒരു കാര്യം കൂടെ ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് ദ ലോ ഇറ്റ് ഓൾസോ അവോയ്ഡ്സ് ദ ലോസ് ഓഫ് ദ കരിയർ കറൻറ്റ് സിഗ്നൽ ടു ദ അഡ്ജോയിനിങ് പവർ സർക്യൂട്ട് ഹിയർ യു ക്യാൻ സി എ കപ്ലിംഗ് കപ്പാസിറ്റർ ദാറ്റ് കണക്ട്സ് ദ ഹൈ ഫ്രീക്വൻസി എക്യൂപ്മെൻറ്റ് ടു ദ വൺ എൻഡ് ഓഫ് ദ ലൈൻ കണ്ടക്ടേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് സൈമൾട്ടേനിയസ്ലി സെപ്പറേറ്റ് ദ പവർ എക്യൂപ്മെൻറ്റ് ഫ്രം ദ ഹൈ പവർ ലൈൻ വോൾട്ടേജ് സോ ദ നോർമൽ കറൻറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ഏബിൾ ടു ഫ്ലോ ഓൺലി ത്രൂ ദ ലൈൻ കണ്ടക്ടർ while the high current carrier car uh, sorry while the high current carrier will be circulate over the line conductor engena anad that is fitted with the high frequency trap through the trap capacitor and the ground so this is all about protection of transmission lines video nadakana ppt onoda nokka karyangale krithiyayittu manasilaaka thank you